What's up everybody, uh, once again I'm back and this time I'm going to be showing you guys on how to do another uh, port forwarding video for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on your Xbox One to enable some of the uh, ports that are required by Activision in order for it to work. Now this is in a special request to uh, Sean Lavery here, he's asked me to make a video uh, showing him on how to do the uh, port forwarding for Advanced Warfare as his is still broke. So uh, step one, uh, please do make sure to watch my first video. Uh, on the uh, port forwarding, uh, which I already had previously um, uh, uploaded to my channel, watch that to uh, be able to enable your port forwarding for, uh, to, sorry, to establish a static IP address for your Xbox One. Then watch my second video uh, where I show how to port forward for the uh, Xbox One and Destiny. You can ignore the Destiny bit if your Destiny is fine and just enable the ports for. Um, in the Xbox One itself. Now, uh, then watch the uh, third video if you're having issues with Advanced Warfare, which is the one I'm going to be uploading right now. Uh, the initial step is to um, open up your uh, browser, uh, locate your uh, search bar, and uh, in that enter your IP address for your uh, Super Hub. Uh, Super Hub 2 by Version Media. Um, and once you've logged in, you should be presented with this screen here. Then simply enter your default password or the password that you have changed um, uh, you have changed for, for your hub itself. Uh, and then once you're uh, once you've entered your password, just simply click sign in. Mine failed as you can see. Let me try it again one more time. Uh, still failed. Let's try it one last time. Uh, go a little bit slower on the uh, keyboard itself. Uh, and we're in now. Uh, once you're in here, uh, click on Advanced Settings. I went a little too quick there. Uh, click on Advanced Settings, uh, and then scroll down till where you can see Port Forwarding. Click on this. Um, as you can already see, uh, that I've already set up some of the uh, ports for Xbox One itself. So these are the uh, ports you need to have enabled in order for Xbox One to be able to um, um, have continuous connection uh, for any of the games. Without without a uh, kicking you off uh, two minutes into the game, five minutes into the game whatsoever, especially with Activision games. Now, um, Sean, uh, this is uh, in regards to your request uh, for you to enable ports. There's only two ports you need to enable for um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the Xbox One, which are um, uh, which follow this sequence here, 3074. So the, the uh, next two ports, which are Activision defined ports that need to be enabled are 3075 and 3076 which I'm going to put in right now so this is how we go, uh, this is how we're going to do it um, in the name port just enter uh, the sequence of your ports as previously defined so port 6 now I'm going to go in port 7 uh, in here I'm going to tap in uh, 3075 uh, and port will be 3075 again and this will be only UDP and this is your static IP uh, that your console you have assigned to according to my first video uh, so which you must watch in order unless you know how to assign a static IP to your console so in here we'll enter the uh, static IP for my console is .18 uh, and simply click add rule and you can see that it comes down here now it's added in uh, now next up we're gonna add in uh, the uh, final port for the Activision uh, published game Advanced Warfare. Uh, so we're going to follow the sequence again, port 8, uh, and this is going to be 3076, 3076, UDP again, 18, as that is my static IP address for my console itself. Click Add Rule, and you can see that the two have been added now. So now I shouldn't have any more problems playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on my console, as I've port forwarded uh, these two ports which were uh, required by um, Activision itself. It's uh, Activision predefined ports that need to be enabled. Um, and simply click apply and these settings will be applied to your uh, uh, router itself. Now click yes and the settings have changed now. Been applied you can see that they are still here and I cannot apply any longer. Um, so this is it. There we go guys and Sean especially you. Uh, all you have to do is simply follow my previous two videos. Uh, make sure you set up a static IP address for your console uh, and then uh, do, watch the second video to enable these ports um, up to here for your uh, Xbox itself and then watch this current video um, for these two ports and they need to be UDP as well and simply click apply save uh, changes uh, reboot your router reboot your console and should be back up and online uh, and gaming without any any further issues 
Uh, now, guys, if this video has helped, please do make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any issues. Uh, make sure you like as well. Until then, peace out.